Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of uranium. Uh, it's one of my favorite sectors. I think it's priced very well. Uh, we've had some choppiness in this sector, lots of choppiness all over the place. Uh, so let's dive in, let's see what the charts tell us. So uh, again, this is just my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. Uh, we got the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. Uh, we had a, a break higher, come back to do a retest, and we are moving on higher. It was up 1.91% today in SRU, uh, SRUUF. And hopefully we can keep this momentum moving to the upside for the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. URNM, yeah, it's getting sold off a little bit. Uh, this is a bearish engulfing pattern where it opened up and closed lower. Will this go lower? We'll find out here in the short term. Uh, we're going to see a lot of choppiness. There could be further pullback in this by looking at this candlestick today. Uh, and I added in here, guys. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold on and see where this thing takes us. If, it, if we head a little bit lower, uh, I will be buying more or maybe we go sideways. This is based off news, so let's see what happens. Bannerman, a little bit of an update today, 2.58%. And hopefully that this support line, this long-term support line holds that I've drawn in here, and we're testing that support line right now. Goviax Uranium, uh, we are down a little bit today. Could be considered a bearish engulfing. Sometimes these throw false signals if you have news. Uh, I would say sideways is what I'm expecting. Let me throw in a, a little little pattern here. Uh, we're right at this support line. If I can, if it sticks in there, we're right at the support line uh, for Goviax Uranium. Uh, let's see if it holds. Let's see if it holds. Global Atomic. Again, I'm looking for support lines in this guy here, and let's zoom out to a five year. See what we're seeing here. Um, Let's just draw this in here. Man, we are like right at, we're like right at, right at or below the support line there. Yeah, we're right there. Hopefully we can, we can come back up, um, not break down here. If not, maybe we'll break down and maybe we have a little bit larger pullback. We'll see. Uh, Cause we do have this bearish engulfing on a weekly candlestick basis. And, and we'll see where we go from here. Forces Metals, uh, up day to day. This is a bullish piercing. Let me zoom in on the daily candlesticks. Uh, but it looks like we're trying to come back up into the pattern. Uh, Forces is a, is a great company in terms of value. Uh, I do like it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I see there. Pure Point Uranium. We're just grinding along its support line. We're still grinding. Deep yellow getting sold off a little bit today. Uh, it opened up, closed lower. Uh, we'll see if this is a pattern that's going to fall lower. Momentum is heading lower, but at the end of the day, if we were to do a daily candlestick basis, you can see this thing kind of head a little bit lower here. So we'll see if it heads lower. It, it very well could. Palladi uh, this is Paladin Energy. Looking at Paladin, a little bit of a down day today. It is a bearish engulfing. Sometimes when you have bearish engulfings at the bottom here, they throw so false signals um, and we still go higher. So it's important to not really do much. We got to see what tomorrow brings us. Uh, and and I'm not, I'm kind of just looking at it indifferently uh, at this moment because, yeah, they're throwing these bearish engulfings, but it's based off news and it, it's tough to say where this, if, if, if it's legit or not at a bottom of a, of a, of a turning point. So we were turning here. We got a wick at the bottom, wick at the bottom. It's, it's turning down and yeah, we opened here and closed here, but it, it may be a false signal. It's on super low volume. Let, let's, let's find out. Let, let's look at tomorrow and see what happens. Uh, Sky Harbor has got a little bit of buying pressure that bought this up at the end of the day, up 2.3%. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Uh, next gen energy. Yeah. We've got a hammer candlestick pattern here. Uh, selling pressure today at the bottom here. Uh, let's just, I'm, I'm waiting and holding my opinion. Uh, nice contraction on Can Alaska. Uh, this to me looks like it's trying to bottom and turn. Uh, base load getting sold off, but again, I mean, it's super volatile right now. I think ch sideways choppy action maybe. 
Uh, Fission 3.0, a little bit of a sell-off today, nothing too big. I still think it, the momentum is slowing and it's trying to make a turn here. Fission, small down day today, got this nice hammer candlestick. Uh, it is still valid and it could potentially provide some upward momentum. Still hanging on. Uh, Camco getting sold off a little bit more with a, again, this is a bearish engulfing. Uh, this could head lower, guys. It it, it could. Um, and we're right at this this support line going across. So we'll we'll see. Because we, we might still have a little bit more downward motion in this. This one looks kind of bearish here for, for Camco. Uh, Kazatum Prom. Uh, it, I would still say that this looks kind of bearish because the buyers haven't stepped in. We've got this large down candlestick. So this still has some bearishness to it. I was hoping buyers would step in and they haven't. Uh, Pen MF, a little bit of an update today, 4.21%. Uh, we're right at the su support line. Boss Energy down today, bearish engulfing. Eh, it's just going sideways. We'll see what it does at support. Lotus Resources, a little bit of a down day today. Uroy getting sold off. Again, this is a nice, big, bullish engulfing day right here. We have a bearish engulfing today. Is it legit or not? I, tough to say. Uh, when when things are getting bought and sold right next to each other, it's a battle between the buyers and sellers. Um, this buying day has a lot more volume on it than the selling day today. So I'd like to see what tomorrow brings us. It, it could head lower with this bearish engulfing. It could also go one day lower and then turn and move on up. So I'd like to see. Again, I'm not trading in and out. I'm just holding on. Uh, Encore Energy has this nice, beautiful reversal day. Uh, yeah, we had some selling pressure today. And, and again, maybe we're chopping sideways for a little bit. U U U U uh, bearish engulfing could head a little bit lower. The I mean this is such a small little bounce that it's it's difficult to, for me to believe that we threw another bearish engulfing, but we could head a little bit lower. Maybe we come back to the support line just underneath it. U R G is getting a little bit of a bearish engulfing too, and maybe it's just news related. Uh, and what that means is that let me do like a five day. And and what I mean by a bearish engulfing is you draw this trend line up like this. And it broke back out to the it broke back down to the downside. So we're we broke out of this upward trend here. And what I meant by a bounce, and this is a five day pattern, is we were coming lower, and we had this bounce. And I said, okay, this is a good time. We could probably get into an uptrend, but we failed today and came back down out of this pattern on a short term. This is a short term flag pattern that it created. So. That's on the very, very short term. That was a five day, five, this is a five minute candlestick pattern. So we could head a little bit lower here, but it may just turn and, and, and head back higher too. So it's, we're, we're getting a lot of choppiness in here. Uh, UEC, same pattern. Again, guys, we could head lower. We could even test that down here at the 215 level uh, if this bearish engulfing. And when I, what I mean by this and how I'm reading this is you get a, you get a, let me go to the one month. You get this downtrend line, right? And what I was hoping to happen is we come in, we, we, we get this reversal candlestick, we're coming on up, we break the downtrend line on the short term, and then we got the selling pressure at the end of the day today that blew us back to the downside. But is And we've got this contraction in the candlesticks here where it's like, well, we could pop right back up. Uh, even though on the longer candlestick type basis that we're throwing a bearish pattern um the volatility is super volatile when this news comes out so let's be patient let's see what tomorrow has in store uh and and i'm just looking at the candlesticks just trying to see short term and again guys i'm not trading i own this stuff i've added in you know when i've added in we're at very cheap valuations um right here the way that i look at this is you have a, a pullback into a bullish engulfing this is a very bullish pattern if you were to look at it and 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 chart it out on a, on a short-term basis uh it's just today we get this you know the selling pressure at the end of that day uh but but here i mean the way this thing turned and reversed and then we got these you know selling pressure that just recently happened uh that's kind of a you know kind of a bummer i mean i'm looking for a move higher that's for sure and that's what this candlestick is right here at the two hours um it was coming up it had a nice good bounce and then boom at the end of the day today 
uh, that news we sold off. Now, is it a le legit news? I mean, we'll find out. Looking at the daily candlesticks on ISO Energy, yeah, we're getting that sell-off pressure. Again, we've, we're right next to this nice, good buying pressure here with support underneath it. So uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings us. Uh, Appia Energy, again, little wicks at the bottom. I think the buyers are there. We just got to we gotta see where it goes. Uh, Denison Mines, big selling pressure today. We'll see if this thing can hold down here at this support area. Uh, Blue Sky Uranium going up today. Yeah, I'm not as I'm not as bullish on this one at the moment uh, because the way that this thing came down, it sold off, and then the bounce coming up is kind of weak. So we might roll back over for Blue Sky in the very short term, guys. Form Energy Metals, yeah, we're coming. It's just moving sideways. I mean, 4.55 percent down day today. We're almost at the support line, doing a retest. Uh, Anfield Energy popping higher today, looking looking better than the rest of the group, that's for sure. Laramide getting a little bit of selling pressure. This is a bearish engulfing, which means we could head lower. Um, but this is a nice, good bounce candlestick with good brine pressure a couple days ago. It's uh, You can see the nice bounce here on the... This is on a five-minute candlestick chart basis, and then the end of the day, it just leaked out. It just went... <laughs> And uh, Western Uranium Vanadium Corp, uh, we're coming on up, getting a little bit of pressure here. Uh, it's a black candlestick, if you look at it from other charts. Selling pressure, momentum downward for, for Western Vanadium. Uh, sideways movement for UEXCF, nothing too, too horrible. And Mega Uranium heading up a little bit uh, right above its support line. Uh, so when I, you know, when I saw the kind of end of day selling, I was like, <laughs> that's that was... What I was thinking, and you know, I, I, it's of good value, guys. We'll see what happens on the short term. Uh, the news from the Federal Reserve and the raising of interest rates and the strengthening of the dollar uh, kind of had us sell off at the end of the day. There, will that sell off and momentum continue into tomorrow? Uh, and and is it going to reverse here in the short term? Difficult to say. Now, the 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 structural fundamentals under the underneath this market, the valuations. The market conditions of money flows, the housing real estate market, they're all favorable for uranium to go up. So the structural underpinnings is good for it to go up. The short-term news that was released, um, the market did, you know, it, it sold off a lot of things. Um, they think, probably in their opinion, that higher interest rates is going to drag on energy and some of these inflation, perhaps inflation um, traits. Historically, though, if inflation is persistent and it and it remains, uh, we could see higher prices. Now, in the very short term, again, we could have a lull between stimulus money and the expansionary phase of real estate, and how that ties together. You know, the inflation rate between the stimulus money rotating into um, the expansion phase of real estate. So we may have like a dip in inflation, and then it comes back up uh, from stimulus money that first created that inflation into the loaning creation in the housing expansion phase. Uh, so we're still in the right sector. Everything's there. Uh, we just have to maybe ride through volatility. It's going to be very volatile. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, guys. But uh, I'm going to remain a bull on the sector. Uh, and I'm waiting for a bottom and turn. Uh, I added money in. That I, I did it on that day that had that nice, good reversal day. Uh, so I, I put some, some money in there. I still have a little bit more left that I can deploy. So I'm just waiting to see if we get anything lower. And we might bounce up, come down, bounce again. So nothing, nothing I'm th that I'm worried about. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit impatient because I know you guys probably want to see it go up. Um, I'm not impatient for myself because I know this stuff. I, I just ride through it. It's not a really big deal to me. Uh, but I, I want you guys to be successful. I want you guys to be able to hold on. I want you guys to experience something that's positive. So that's... That's really that what I want. I want you guys to to make it through it, and having these things be so volatile and bounce all around and move around doesn't help you guys and your confidence in the stocks if you're a new investor. So I'm I'm in it to win it, guys. I'm I'm not going anywhere. I have there's no other better sector in my opinion to buy than some of these commodity type companies. I don't know of anything else that I would be buying. Uh, there's no way I would sell going to cash. There's no way I would sell and go into uh, something like technology. I just 
I don't like those sectors at this at this market condition. So uh, I, these I'm in the sectors I want to be in, and I'm going to keep piling into them. So that's my strategy. That's my game plan. And if you guys like you know the content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is finding value.